Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Let's explore Singapore together. Today, something super exciting. We're gonna visit Haupar Villa. It has been closed for over a year for renovation and it has reopened. I'm so excited. Let's go. Look at this. It looks magical already from outside. And by the way, the entrance is completely free. Actually, there are a lot of amazing places in Singapore that you can see completely for free. Hi guys, you cannot believe my birthday continues. If you haven't seen the video of my birthday, it's a previous one. I'm gonna link it. I came with my girlfriends to see how our villa and this friend came with a gigantic bag. I was like, do you want to leave it in the car? And she's like, I'm gonna wait for Natasha and then we're gonna leave it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, they gave me amazing present because they, you know how I'm interested in Singapore. They gave me books about Singapore, about food and about history. It's the really best gift ever you can imagine for me. Remember? <laughs> Books. <laughs> and uh, one more part of the present is gonna happen later. I'm gonna show you. And now let's go and discover how bright you are. By the way, guys, if you think that it's a good idea to make a video about amazing free places in Singapore, let me know in comments. Or maybe you think that it's something that you can easily Google because it's what I do. Anyways, let's... Uh, dive into this magic and beauty of Haupar Villa. This park includes over 1000 statues and over 150 gigantic diagrams that tell you stories of ancient Chinese legends that teach people lessons of life. This is why this place really truly feels magical because you see all these stories unfolding in front of your eyes. Guys, there is a little information center here. I would suggest to start your tour from here because you can read everything about this villa and about the brothers that have created Halpar Villa. And actually, those are the same brothers that created really famous around the world Tiger Balm. It's a very interesting story. And they say that this guy was like a Richard Branson of his times. He really knew how to hold himself, how to market himself, like a talented businessman. So I will put parts of it, you can pause and read. And now let's go and enjoy the beauty. Here you can pause and read a bit about the brothers. Guys, walking around here, I realized I know nothing about uh, Chinese mythology and legends, really nothing. I probably know some uh, ancient Greek. This is magical, unbelievable. So basically, let's call them the Tiger Balm brothers, especially one of them, he was a big fan of uh, Chinese history, they were Burmese Chinese, and they moved to uh, Singapore uh, in 1930, I think, and one of the brothers, because he was so fond of it, he decided to build this park to promote Chinese values, to teach people, uh, to show, because I, I guess, um, some of these dioramas, they depict uh, legends that teach you lessons of life. So he wanted to, to build it and maintain it so public could learn more. They actually had to flee Singapore at some point. They went to, I think they flee to China during the war with Japan. But later on, they came back. And as far, if I'm not confused, this villa was occupied by Japanese. They used it, I think, as observation point or something like this, but now it's just amazing. It's so beautiful here. It's like... It's... I 
I think I should just stop commenting guys and let you enjoy the view, what do you say? <laughs> if any of you know nice documentaries or you have nice articles about the Chinese legends and history not just history of the country, I, I would be more interested actually in legends and myths that's something that you can see here, that what is represented here please share links, I would be really grateful, I want to learn more about it these turtles chilling on the sun <laughs> how cute is it guys do you hear music on the background i didn't put this music it just plays here all the time it really adds such an amazing vibe If you look a bit closer, you might see that some of the scenes are slightly violent. It's nothing more violent that you can see on TV nowadays, but I still have to tell you this, because if you want to bring your children here, if they're really young, you should decide for yourself if it's time for that or for them or not. Uh, but I also think that most of the religions and most of the ancient legends, they're all about that. If people do bad things, gods come and they punish them in certain ways. And this is all about it, about teaching people values and what may come after if they don't follow it. <laughs> so guys, this was just amazing. It was so nice that we would even come back, I think, right? We would come back and maybe even with a tour guide just to learn more about uh, Chinese myths, legends, traditions. Highly recommend. And I will link, uh, leave the link below in the description box. So guys, let's have a look what I got as a present. I already started opening and that's what I want to show you. The card will be for me, it's personal. The first book is... Uh, book of um, it's um, Li Wai Ling. she's the daughter of Li Kuan Yu and you saw that I'm I think you probably saw already in my blog that I'm reading a book of Li Kuan Yu I'm finishing it and I'll be very excited to read it so interesting thank you so much girls if you would be watching it it's awesome and I don't think I would buy this book I wouldn't think about it but now when I have it I'm super excited that I can wow early hawkers in Singapore 1920s to 1930s. This is awesome. It's all about hawker centers and the food. I'm big foodie, big foodie. And to give me a book also about food and Singapore, because now I'm really curious to study everything about Singapore. It's like really, I don't know, exceed all the expectation. This is, oh my God, and such a nice drawings. Okay, guys, I will be taking closer look at these books later on. And of course I will share stuff being curled puff. Amazing drawings. I really like. What a nice friends I have guys. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Sorry for a small show off. <laughs> really nice. Thank you so much girls. So much appreciate. Mm -hmm. I'll share with you later guys. Unless it's going out for girls' night, <coughs> leaving me alone with the kids. Where, where are you going today? Celebrity. Ah. I took up with Marina by Sands, has to be a really beautiful view. We're super lucky today though, that it was uh, so many rainy days in a row, and today it's so sunny, like special for us, for our girls' night out. And Luna also wants to come. Yeah, take her with you. Good girl, good girl. Let's go. I am good. We're in Marina Bay. 
to go to Selvi, you need to arrive to Tower 3. I really like the vibe in this hotel. Like even downstairs in the lobby, it always smells so good. It's just so light and fresh. Guys, this view is just to die for, seriously, it's, it's magic. How can somebody invent something like this? To think through everything that when you look at it, you can't stop. It's like real eye candy. Honestly, I can't even tell you about food because we only had cocktails with the girlfriends, so we're just sitting, chatting, and drinking. But it's it's amazing to be here. Hi guys, I just came to get my first job. I'm going to be getting Pfizer vaccine. I'm super excited. I really hope that. It will give us some more opportunities, you know, maybe to travel, maybe the, the more people get vaccinated, the more country will open up. So I am looking forward. I'm going to get the first one. My husband already got both because he's going to be 40 this year. I was allowed to film. Okay, relax. Easy, easy and nice. Yeah, it's easy, easy. Fast <laughs> All right, so process to observation, exit by the back door for half an hour. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. So guys, I feel great after the vaccine. I don't even have <laughs> pain in my arm. Uh, I'm gonna take now Amy to Art Zone. It's a nice art studio for kids where you can craft or paint. I'm gonna show you that place. Uh, maybe I showed before, I'll just show again quickly. And I was very impressed how, how things were organized the, the, with the vaccine. Like everything worked like a clock. You go to, from one place to another, they explain everything, go to another station. It was really, really good. So let's go to the, uh, the art studio. So Amy is in the class. This is called Art Zone. And I really love how, how the place looks. It's very, so artsy. It's very nice. Kids can choose. There's a huge variety of things that kids can do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can do mask. You can paint. You can decorate like a jewelry box. Really, really cool place. I love it. Okay. Okay, Misita. I pick you up in one hour. I'm gonna have coffee uh, while I'm waiting for Amy and read the book. It's a really amazing book, I'll show you because I really want to recommend it. Guys, this is a book that I'm reading now, actually for quite some time, but just because I like to read a bit and then think about it, process it. It's in Russian, but I think you should recognize it's Lee Kuan Yew. It's his book that is called From This Sherlock World to the First, and it's basically how Singapore was built. Um, it's a really amazing book. If you have interest in Singapore, if you want to understand a little bit deeper uh, why certain things uh, function here in a certain way I just really highly recommend it's not an easy read because it's also about uh, about politics about uh, you know uh, social problems about uh, you know, uh, international conflicts there's so many topics in one book 
that's why it's hard to read it you know it's just not just for fun but it's really deep and interesting and impressive hi guys today we came to amazing museum with kids it's a natural history museum we've been here before but it's really worth coming back this is the reaction <laughs> it's never crowded here but well, second time here let's go Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are waiting for us. Tree into flower. This museum has such a rich and interesting collection that even if you have seen a lot in your life, you will still be very impressed. Plus, I think museums like this are the best way to introduce your children to the concept of going to museums and discovering something new and learning about history because they just look around and they get excited and they just start loving it. They start loving to be curious. Look at this, it's a piece of meteorite that fell. 4,500 years ago on our planet. How cool is this? guys today is a, a sweet and sour day we're going out with our friends but we are going out to hang out together because they're leaving soon and we just want to just have some activities yeah uh, very sad uh, but i'm sure we'll see each other they're also from portugal For sure. uh, i'm not from portugal but i said they're also <laughs> from portugal <laughs> <laughs> half of half of our families from Portugal. So anyways, we're gonna have some activities. They don't know yet where we're going. Let's see if they like it, if they enjoy it. We will try to show you. Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're approaching. You guys still don't know. Any guesses? Uh something about height? <laughs> Or not go. If you choose not to go, I will still love you. <laughs> and then, guys, my phone broke, so I don't have really everything that was happening. We actually started with Megazip. I'll link another video where I'm doing it with my friend. It's actually very light. It's not very extreme. Oh my god! My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the road. You never do. Good. Yeah, this yeah, was yeah. very fun. I will see Very you again. Bye-bye. Cool. So we started quite light, but then you see what started happening. Alvaro did bungee jumping, Jose did bungee jumping. I think it was the effect also of all of us being without our children there and having all these things accessible. Uh, but in the end, you know, it was very fun. We felt like kids. We were just fooling around half of the day. I think parents need days like this out not just to go out and restaurant and drink and eat but also just go and be a kid for a bit but anyways we continued how was it <laughs> I was, I was scared. to jump how was it to step out, like that, into really yeah, I did the video. no i was i was I was shaking a bit. A bit? Yeah, I, I mean, I had to. Uh, I, I, I felt peer pressure. Did you jump, did you jump or did they uh, push you? No, no, I jumped a little right. bit. But, it, but I really felt, oh no, because when they told me you have to give one more step to the front. Yeah, it's quite scary when you're there, right? Yeah. Because you feel a little bit the rope pushing you down yeah. when, you're, when you're right there. 
And I was and I was first I was holding his hand like <laughs> <laughs> And then it's okay, we're gonna count to five and then you jump. And then, okay, okay. <laughs> so of course I wouldn't do what Alvaro did. Good job. And what does that do? Brave guys. But uh, I know I'm being challenged to go and do this mega swing. It's still very high up, but it seems that it's slightly less scary, at least for my standards. You also kind of departing from same height of the tower but you're kind of like swinging you don't have to go like this with your head down i don't know i think if it's less scary i don't know alvaro is convincing me if we should do it okay and you do, we do it together we can go it's together just, uh, yeah. <laughs> i'm already nervous to be honest like I, i'm already like really my my, my legs are getting numb i'm are, probably gonna do it I, okay you, told the people you can pause running, so no you can to. pause and comment <laughs> uh, what do you think did i do it or not because <laughs> I, I i'm gonna try i'm gonna try but i don't I promise <laughs> Okay, let, let, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's. All right, welcome to AJ Ekatsan How are you guys? Awesome. Awesome, great. Ready to swing, eh? Yeah, fly. Let's go. Time to fall. You look down, it's scary. You see a monkey or two, your friends. Oh, hey guys. Hey guys. Now I can. Alright, you guys ready for this? Yeah, chin right. down, chin down. Chin down, you guys ready for yeah. this? Yeah. Can I go for it? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Super nice. fantastic. Super fun. Fantastic. All right. We'll see you next issue. Guys, we came to have a lunch uh, to Holland Village. Uh, just interesting fact. It's not named Holland Village after Holland, but after an architect whose last name was Holland. And he was a famous architect and he lived in this area. This area is like, um, I don't know, a hipsterish, bohemic kind of vibe. Like little houses. It's really like a small village with different um, small restaurants small like boutique shops you know not like big chains but some like small businesses and stuff like artsy artsy area let's say trying out my new restaurant which and this is a sanuk kitchen thai place i really love thai food let's see i'll tell you all about it quite nice prices guys so this is Pad Thai, actually our Thai friends told us that it's not really something Thai people eat a lot, so this was kind of invented for tourists. Um, we were, I don't know, when we when we heard it we were a bit disappointed at ourselves because <laughs> we both love this dish a lot but we still keep eating it. We, we thought we were such a connoisseur of Thai food but apparently we ate, we love the only dish that is really made for tourists. When I came to Thailand for the first time in my life, this was the very first dish I tried, Tom Yum. Till now it still associates for me with holidays and like really excitement because it was first time in Asia. Everything was new and very interesting. I really love the soup, <laughs> good memories. Guys, and this is a bill. Can you imagine? It's a very good price. Guys, so the place was really nice. Really good. Uh, Tom Yum was super spicy, like proper spicy. I like spicy food, it was like really Thai spicy. And um, it's slightly more expensive than food on the food court. But the place is really nice, nicely decorated, spotless, clean, really good. I, for Impressed. the price, for the price, I'm like, wow, very good. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, for being part of our life. As usual, we'll be very happy to talk to you in comments and hear your suggestions, recommendations, requests. Maybe you have good ideas. What should I explore in Singapore next? See you soon. For now, bye bye. All the best to you.